In this video, we'll explore how Ibis World's ESG risk score ratings can be used to assist in the government procurement process. With ESG becoming increasingly important to business operations and regulations relating to environmental and social protection increasing, the public sector focus on ESG continues to grow, including along the supply chain. Ibis World's ESG risk score ratings can be instrumental in helping assess whether or not your suppliers are meeting their ESG objectives. They allow you to quickly and easily identify the level of risk your clients may present. We provide scores on the 15 key environmental, social and governance aspects of your business operations, over 550 UK industries, as well as an overall risk score. Let's take a look into one of the reports. With environmental regulation growing in line with the government's target of net zero emissions by 2050, it's becoming ever more important for businesses to ensure their operations are environmentally sustainable. Potential suppliers at risk of not meeting their environmental objectives could face rising costs and disruptions to their operations, which could filter through to clients in the form of higher prices and supply issues. As such, it's important to assess where your supplier falls in terms of environmental risk. The environmental issues section of our ASU risk scores is split into five categories. Commitment to environmental initiatives, energy efficiency, greenhouse gas emissions, waste management and water efficiency. You can use these individual risk scores to assess the extent to which your potential suppliers are striving to improve their environmental credentials. Particularly useful in this section is the statistical trends we provide which show how the industry's emissions, fuel usage and level of waste have been changing over time. This offers insight into how your potential supplier has been faring in terms of environmental targets and to what extent they're focused on reducing their carbon footprint. It provides you with the insight needed to question them on how their environmental credentials stack up against similar companies. As of 1st of January 2021, a minimum weighting of 10% must be given to social value objectives by UK central government departments and local authorities at the tender evaluation stage, with the local authorities going higher than this. Suppliers must therefore be able to demonstrate compliance with the government's social value model. The social issues section of our risk scores ratings can be invaluable in this regard. We assign each industry with a risk score for fair labour standards, high risk geographies, leave benefits, pay equality and workforce composition. These can be used to help you assess to what extent suppliers you are negotiating with are helping to address inequality in the workplace. Given how inequality is growing during the COVID-19 pandemic, this section can be essential for determining if your suppliers are working in a way that will help rebalance the economy. We also provide recent statistical trends in the gender pay gap, average hourly wage and workforce composition of the industry. You can benchmark these against your potential suppliers to see how strong their labour standards are and to what extent they are achieving gender equality within the workplace. The trends we provide for these statistics allow you to easily see whether they are performing below, in line with or above the average for the UK economy. The governance section of our ESQ risk scores can help you assess how well run your suppliers' operations are, as well as how much importance they place on ethical business practices. Again, given the importance of social value objectives in the procurement process, this section can also be used to assess to what extent your suppliers are delivering social value, given it's scored based on five core social issues. These are anti-corruption mechanisms, involvement in controversy, lobbying presence, regulatory complexity and tax corruption. Towards the top of the ESG report, each risk score rating also includes risk scores for the industry supply chain. So you can see the extent to which your potential suppliers could be affected by ESG issues both upstream and downstream. Given that any problems in these areas could filter through to your suppliers' operations, it's a good idea for you to identify how exposed their supply chains are likely to be to ESG issues. This means you can be more assured that your suppliers' operations will continue to run smoothly in the future as ESG regulations continue to grow. We also include discussion of the regulation and policy an industry is facing. This tells you how, re how heavily regulated an industry is and provides detail of the main legislation faced by companies in the industry, including any recent or upcoming changes. The legislation covered ranges from that affecting the entire economy, such as minimum wage and modern slavery laws, to industry-specific regulations. Understanding your supplier's regulatory environment is important, as any significant changes and challenges have the potential to influence how effectively they operate. You can use this section to question your suppliers on how they are how they are of the regulatory environment and what actions they are taking to ensure regulatory changes do not cause significant disruption to their operations, which could affect your supply. 
Our key issue talking points are perhaps the most useful aspects of the risk score ratings report when it comes to negotiating with potential suppliers. Our analysts pick out the biggest environmental, social and governance issues faced by the industry and write questions that can be used to challenge your suppliers on how they are combating these. Consider this a cheat sheet that provides you with thought-provoking questions to use in your negotiations. More information on how ESG risk or rating reports can, can assist in the procurement process or to find out how our other products can help you, reach out to your Ibis World representative or visit www.ibisworld.com.